Okay, so here we are ready to start a bend. Just a quick review for some of you guys. Other guys may not have ever seen how this all goes together, but basically on the bender you've got the main die here. Uh, the tubing basically slides in between the uh, follower block, which is a little bit hard to see, but it's back here. Pin goes through the center of that. Um, basically, the tubing gets uh, encapsulated between those two. You can kind of get a peek at it here. Then you've got a strap that goes over, secures that against the main die. And then you've got uh, an additional pin here, and this uh, bolt screws up and snugs up against that. Just basically keeps uh, the uh, follower die from swiveling around. Um, not sure if that's to prevent galling and uh, other problems as well, but that's basically the whole deal there. The um, indicator right now is showing about it's a lot of reflection. Uh, probably can't see that too well, but right now I'm showing about say about three degrees before the zero mark. So I'm basically expecting about three degrees of spring back. I don't know if that's going to be uh, true, but I have to get started somewhere. So I'm going to use that as my assumption and then I'll take a final measurement when I get to 90 and see if the spring back is correct or not. When I loaded up the tubing, what I did is I powered up the unit, uh, moved the uh, rotated the die forward until I got just a little bit of movement on the needle. It's just barely off zero on this gauge, um, which indicates that it's starting to build pressure in the ram. So that basically means that the tube itself right now is snug. Um, can't really get back far enough to show you, you know, unfortunately, a uh, kind of like a bird's eye view or something. I'm just working out here by myself. I got to get some friends, I guess, so that I don't have to do all this work myself. But in any case, what I'm going to do is fire this thing up. I'm going to bend it to 90. And you guys can watch on the little uh, second counter how long that actually takes. When I get to 90, I'll stop it, pull the tubing out, take a measurement, see where we're at. So here we go. And we're starting right now. That's 10 degrees, 20. 30, 40 degrees, that's 50, 60, 70, 80, and that's about 88. And looks like we're at 89 degrees and I'm out of travel, so I gotta back up and reset this pin. So I'll just back it off one hole. That should be enough to get us to 90. Drop it in. Get us back to, that's 88, 89. And just feathering that forward to 90. We're there. Now we'll back this thing off. Should get a nice loud bang as everything retracts. Or well, maybe not. So in any case, let's see. I'm gonna have to shut this off. I gotta pull this thing apart. Hold on. <laughs> 